Good? Good. Okay. So now we are back to the beginning. We have a, a machine that is could be do, machining rotors or drums. So now we're going to do drums. Again, start with a clean surface. Sweep all this stuff in the trash can. Wear eye protection at all times. And now we're going to mount a drum assembly. Okay, this drum's already been done, but I'm going to use it again. And first mount our, our bit. So this is the bit that you use. You put this guy on, kind of brush this off, get it nice and clean. Put that right here. Okay, there's a little nut right here too. Come over to this side. This little nut, we need to loosen up. So where's my little wrench? Right here. So I'm going to loosen this nut up. That nut is what keeps this from pivoting. And then, before I mount my, my bit, I want to check my edge. Look at that. This guy's loose. That's the typical mistake that most people make. They just mount it, and they don't check their bit, and they don't check the edge on the, bottoms, the bottom side. It needs to be nice and crisp right, right here and right here, which it is. Nice good edge, so I just need to snug it down. If I were to machine this right now, that would have created a bad, a bad machining. So I'll put this on, put my cap on, and then I find my nut right here. Just run it down loose. Okay, we're ready. Make sure this is neutral. Now for a drum, I go all the way in. All the way in, so it's kind of all most of the way in, and then I back it off a couple turns. This I go all the way back. So oh, need to loosen this guy. That's what it is. There we go. Now it's nice and smooth. So I move this all the way in, back it out, and I move this arbor all the way in, which contracts this boot, and then I move it out about five turns. Okay, we're ready. Now, what happens with a drum, it gets pinched between two cones. Two cones is what pinches this, and it's centered by a little dowel or another cone with a spring. So I'm going to go a cone. Move my bit out of the way. Then I'm going to go spring, my dowel, and I'm ready to put my drum on. Put that on, smash it in between here. Take a spacer with my vibration down there. And then put my nut on it. You got to go counterclockwise to tighten this. Okay, and before I tighten this, I'm going to hold that center centering dowel inside and just kind of spin it and then give it a, uh, a little snug and then grab your wrench and pop it so we have this mounted we have our bit mounted and now we're ready for our belt okay try not to put the belt on the floor that's how they get destroyed now this is the hardest part and I've been telling third and fourth period of this for the last two weeks so if you don't pay attention, this will really fight you. You got to get this belt really tight. Otherwise, it will, when you machine, it will sound like this. It will be a belt uh, or like a bell. So this is what it sounds like before. Now let's put our belt on. Get a lot of belt. Get it right on the edge. So you should show right here. Right on the edge. Okay, that's where all the noise of a bell is made. And I'm going to pull on both of these, and then I'm going to pinch it. And then instead of wrapping the belt, I turn the drum. And as I'm turning, I'm pulling on the extra belt. And then just loop it in. So let's see how it sounds now. Very different. So we're good.
Okay, now same thing as the rotor. We gotta do a scratch cut. Okay, you might wanna go this way and show this way. So I'm gonna first set my bit up. So I'm gonna put my bit all the way, all the way in the back part of the drum back here. And I'm gonna let it hit. Once when it's hitting there, you tighten your nut. And we're, we have the drum set, we have the bit set. Now let's back the bit off, back it off, and let's run the drum all the way out. And we're ready. So let's do our scratch cut. Start it up. I'm gonna go until it scratches. And let's go a little bit this way. So I have a little scratch. I'm going to back it off, turn it off. And then this is the same thing as the rotor. Loosen it, and then I'm going to spin my drum. About a half turn. Tighten it and do another scratch cut. We're checking to see is we're checking to see if our road drum is squared up to our arbor. Do another scratch cut. The pulse sitting and it looks like the same. It looks like it's the same. Let's see. Nope, there's that scratch. And the scratch we did before starts here. So we're a little off. Let's do another scratch test. Loosen it up. Spin it. Tighten it down. We'll do one more scratch cut. Yeah, a lot better. And you can see right here, I have one scratch right next to the other scratch. So I know for sure my drum is squared up to my rotor, my arbor. We're good. Now if there was a lip here on the outer edge, I would want to take that lip off. So let's act like we're doing that. Take that lip off on the outside. Okay. Back off my bit. And now I'm going to go all the way to the back of my drum. All the way to the back. And I'm going to take my inner lip off. There's an inner lip in there. And I'm going to go all the way till it bottoms out in the back of the drum. There I go. Just bottomed out. I'm going to back it off a little bit. And now this is where we do our cut. Come on this side. And before we start our cut, we need to get that little screw right here. A nice snug. Snug it down so our, our bit can't move on us. There you go. You can hear it change. Back it off, and then you want to tighten uh, this guy down right here. This needs to be loose for rotors, but for drums, this needs to be tight. And for rotors, this is tight, but for drums, this is loose. And we're ready. Let's go ahead and go tell a hit right here. You gotta throw the, uh... So we're gonna go, and we're, here's our notch. We're gonna go four notches. Yeah. Snug this last one down right here and we're ready. And that's for rotors. This is for drums, so do not go to this. And come over this side. While the machine's running, you could adjust your speed. 16's way too fast. So we're gonna go to 14 or uh, four. Four is the perfect speed. And then just engage it and we're done. And it should make a nice finish.
up just for the video. So while this is running, I can turn this. Never turn it when it's off. And let's just go a little faster. Let's double our speed. So I'm going to go to 8, which is double the speed of the way the arbor is being set out. Now you got all this metal in here, all you have to do to get rid of it, turn it off, it will drop, start it up, turn it off. And the last thing we got to do is do a non-directional finish, so I'm going to come on this side over here. Disengage our feed, so this is how you disengage your drum, your feed, just pull that back. And I'm going to go in here, I'm going to do my non-directional finish from the back side away from my bit. Don't ever let your hand go near the bit. You're gonna go back and forth, putting a lot of pressure on it. And turn it off. And we should have a nice clean finish. Pretty good finish right there. Unfortunately, this drum is completely gone. If you look right here, there's no chamfer. It's completely, the, the chamfer is completely gone on it. It should be about that much thicker. So this drum is completely gone. But I'm going to show you in another video how to mic this out. Yep. Good.